Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is pretty much all you're going to be seeing of me because you know what? I'm not getting dressed today. I'm not putting makeup on today. Yesterday I had to do all the errands. I had to go to the bank. I had to go to the grocery store. I had to finish up school. I didn't get to craft at all. So today is my craft day and hopefully I don't burn off my fingertips. Um, let me show you. I don't know if you could see it, but there is the blister I got a nice nice blister going on right here from the hot glue man that hurt you guys um I hope it don't pop surely it won't pop I've been being very very careful with it yeah so hopefully that doesn't happen today but I did finish uh, the three bows that I was working on uh, in the previous video before you know that happened um I'll show you what I decided to do this is that um it's upside down the Toy Story Best Friends bow I did add some marabou in the middle cute it's a funky loop bow and I added a sequin bow over here I still have a few of these left um, I need to see if I can order those because I really like working with those um, I don't even know if anybody uses these anymore but I love them anyways I put that best friend button in the middle and yeah that's what I did for this bow there's corkers and all kind of stuff in there and I've already put it on the clip but that is the Toy Story bow and then for the mini bow, um, I did, I put some marabou at the top, um, a black and a white. And what else? Oh, the little, um, can you see it? The little mini bottle cap. Mini is my bestie. I added a little bow. It was just a Mickey uh, bottle cap, but I added the bow. And that is that one, another funky loop. I love the marabou. Woo! Um, so yeah, that is the mini one. And then for the Chick-fil-A one, I know when I ended the video, I was going to be adding the sequin bow with the um, Chick-fil-A doodad. But I ended up taking it off because it, I don't know, it was really heavy. So there's that bow. Just simple burst bow. I am going to be adding the button. Hopefully I can get it off of here. But I don't know. I was trying to I didn't do a loopy center, a funky loop center. I just did a funky <laughs> center for this one. So there's no loop for this to attach to. So and I don't want to put it here because then it would cover up the Chick-fil-A print. So, decisions on this one. I do have this button right here that I can just, I don't know, I could put it somewhere, I guess. But I was kind of wanting to, I don't know, should I put it up here with the puff? Nah, I don't think that looks good at all. So, mm, I don't know. I'll still, um work on this one I guess so that's where I'm at right now I want to make these three today the watermelon the pencil and then the peanut butter and jelly and I haven't decided what style I want to do I think I'm going to be doing a I think I do I'm gonna do a funky loop for this one because then I have an idea for the pencil um, that I did like many years ago so I'm going to try it out on that. I'll probably do a burst for this one. And I don't know, maybe a burst because I do have some one. I think this is, yeah, this is one and a half inch. These are seven eighth inch. And then this is one and a half. And this should be enough for a twisted boutique because my burst bows always have a one and a half inch twisted boutique so yeah I think yeah that should be plenty plenty all right so we'll do two burst bows and probably a funky loop bow and then I've got to start on my 
little Easter goodies. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, I went ahead and added the little sequin bow at the corner with the ostrich puff just because I wanted it in the bow, but yeah, I kind of made it difficult because like I said, there were no loops to secure it to. So anyways, that's what I did and this one is complete as well. So I am going to put these three on um, hangers and I still have to take pictures, which taking pictures is my least favorite thing, but I look at that. I love that. That's so cute. It just looks like a chicken. Reminds me of a chicken. So funky. But you know what? I think before I do anything, I want to make another little bunny bow for a friend because I just got all of my um, headbands in and she needs one on a headband. And I think this one would probably be a little too big. And plus, I've already got it on the clip. Um, so yeah, let's make a bunny bow real quick. I think I'm going to have to go to a Walmart later because I'm almost out of thread. And I did not realize that. Uh, so I do have to get dressed. All right, I'm using um, 7 8 inch white ribbon. Um, and again, we're going to be making a bunny bow. Or I am. You can just watch me. Um, I've got about 20 inches of the ribbon. I'm trying to make this one a little bit smaller because it's for a baby. But I'm just going to do a, a Twisted Boutique. And I guess we'll do the figure eight method. And if you need a tutorial on a figure eight hair bow, I will try to remember to leave the link down below. But that's what I am doing just a um yeah the figure eight twisted boutique it's fairly easy and pretty fast so that's what i'm going for here's the back a little flippy flip and when you flip it it will form the loops and now I'm just going to play with it just get it a little loopier just twist it to where I want it and I'm just going to do a single fold crease because yeah just because all right see creased it and then I'm going to wrap my upholstery thread and tie it off this is going to be the base for the bunny. Very easy. Such a small bow. I'm not used to making the smaller bows. My hands don't want to cooperate. All right, we got our little twisted boutique, and I'm not going to spray it. I think it's going to be fine. It's pretty, it's pretty stiff. Anyways, there is the base for the bunny. And I'll show you the one that, um, this one is a little bit bigger. Oops. And I just dropped another one. Um, but see, it's got a twisted, twisted boutique base. All right. Now we're going to do the ears and Again, I'm using white, and I've also got some pink 7 8 inch, and honestly, I don't know how much I'll need, so I'm just going to guess. I want my ears, I think that's about good. So, I'll need two pieces of white. And these measure six inches each. Two pieces of white, of course, seal all those ends. That's very important. Heat sealing and creasing are very important. All right, and this I'm not gonna need as much, so I'll probably do five inches. Probably don't even need five, but We'll see. 
we will see because it's going to be like the inside of the bunny's ear. All right, so two pieces of pink. My daughter is texting me. Y'all, Megan, my Megan, which she is the oldest, turned 21 this year. And I know, how could she be 21? I'm only like, you know, 28. Gosh, that does not even seem, ugh. it's kind of creepy, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, she turned 21 and she decided to move out. She and a friend have an apartment like 10 minutes down the road. Megan hasn't officially moved in yet. She is saving up right now for a down payment on a new car. Um, she wants to get that over with. But she's been staying over there a lot. Um, but she has not officially moved, but it will be happening in the next couple of months. And that's crazy to me that she's old enough to to move out and Connor just turned 17 you guys a couple of days ago so I feel so old oh but Kennedy makes me feel young because whoo yeah she woke up at 9 a.m. this morning and was crafting she's making little bows and necklaces for her pet shops and Wow, <laughs> I had paper and ribbon all over the place this morning. All right, so I'm just trying to form like an ear like that. And I'm going to glue these. They're going to overlap and I'm going to glue them. So yeah, that's what's going on. But that was her texting. She's going to be staying over there tonight. And Reagan, um, my 15-year-old, she went to, well, she and Connor both went to um, a concert last night, Winter Jam. And she's actually staying with uh, some girls um, at, from church. So, yeah. All right, so I went ahead and made an ear. And I'm going to try to do the same with the other and make them of the same size. Yeah, but yeah, just, just, yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running my mouth, but um, they overlap and you glue. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And then you trim. So, yeah. And then you seal. So, now we have two ears. Two ears. And I'm going to do the same exact thing to the pink. Um, but you want to put the pink, you know, slightly down so you can see the white behind the pink. So, yeah. That's what we are doing. Making ears, yo. Making ears. Alright, that looks about right. And then once you get all of this done, then you'll just glue them both together. And they'll be ears. Trim the tails here. Seal. Alright, now I'm just going to glue the pink to the white. So you can see the white. So, just a little glue. Don't want to get burned. All right, there's one ear. And two ears. All right. You might want to set something on top of these, kind of let them flatten. I don't know what I did last time, I can't remember. I mean, you can put your phone on them if you want to walk away for a little bit. That would work. So, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to glue them to the back of your loops. 
both of the ears will go behind your loops. And don't worry about that because we're going to cover it with a felt, a felt circle. So yeah, just glue those to the back. Such a tiny, tiny little. Alright, let me put some glue on you. That was probably too much. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to glue it. Oops, can you see? Alright. So cute. It's going to be so cute on her little head. Alright, I got one ear. <laughs> see, there's the little bunny ear. Now I'm going to do the other. I might have to spray it. All right, we got our ears. All right, now, <laughs> this is cute. All right, now I've got a couple of white pom-poms and I couldn't find um, pink, like a light pink at Walmart. They had this dark pink, it, it really don't matter. I don't know, maybe I need a bigger one. Will this work? This might work, see? Um, I glued the, this one looks lopsided, I glued the two pom-poms, the two white ones here, and then the little pink one right there, and then of course your googly eyes go on top of that, and then we're going to add a little bow at the top, but yeah, but what I did, I glued these together first, just put a little bit of glue on the side, and kind of pushed them together. So they'll stick. And then I glued the pink one on top because the pink one is going to go right there in the center. But before you do that, you are going to want to put this on your clip. You're going to want to ribbon wrap this to your clip because you can't do that once you put your pom-poms down. And this is going to go on a headband, which I need to find. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the headband. And then we'll add the, the little finishing touches. So let me get the headband. I went ahead and put, the, put it on this little nylon band. These are awesome, by the way. They are so lightweight and I don't know they're just awesome and they're really cheap um but they're nylon hand okay so I went ahead and put the the base the bow on a headband and these are awesome I love these um little they're thin nylon headbands and honestly I think I paid like gosh 10 20 cents for these I don't know I will try to leave a link down below of where I get these but they're awesome I love them anyways um, I went ahead and did that and I just put it with a piece of 3 8 inch ribbon in the center now we are going to add the little um, pom-poms so I've got to add the pink one to the top here and here it is. I'm just going to press it down for a second and it'll pop right back up. But I want to make sure it's secure enough. But there it is. Look. My little bunny nose. Cute. <laughs> I love that. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue on the back of the pom-poms and I'm going to put it right here in the middle I'm just 
gonna be so dang cute can't wait for her to wear this um hopefully I get to see her today if not I will tomorrow and I will get some pictures and show you guys what it looks like just making sure it's stuck and it ain't coming off Okay, and there's that cute little nose. All right, now all I've got to do is put the the googly eyes. Make sure this is not going anywhere. I don't know. Should I have done a bigger one? Nah, I think it's good. I think it's going to be good. But see, I did a bigger one on this one, which I don't know. All right, so here's my googly eyes. I've only got these big ones, so hopefully they don't look too crazy. What is that glue? All right, and I'm just going to glue them. Let me see where I want them. You just glue them up there on your top loops but you kind of want them close together so they don't look crazy see oh it's so cute all right i'm going to glue these down ah. and then i'm probably going to have to glue these ears some more actually right here at the top just a little bit so they stay down I want to stay. There we go. Now don't forget to take your lighter and go along and get all that pesky glue off. Oh, so cute. I mean, you could leave it without the eyes. I mean, it still looks like a bunny, right? But I'm going to put the eyes because I like to be crazy and funky okay and what I did was made just a tiny pinwheel bow because I don't know I like to give the little Easter bunny a bow because this is a girl bunny all right and since this is a girl bunny I like to add a little bow at the corner just like I did with that one and this is all it is is a very tiny pinwheel bow I got a tail up here and a tail down here and I am going to add it to you can put it in the middle if you want but I like to add it to the corner of their ear up there at the corner so I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on the back and I'm going to add it to the side of one of her ears. And it's, she's going to have a cute little bow. A bow for the bow. Make sure that glue is not showing. Oh, you're going to stay down. Alright. So now Bunny has a bow. Bunny has ears, eyes, and a nose. She's finished. Now all I have to do is put, I got a uh, felt circle and I'm going to secure this to the back of the bow and the headband. For one, it's going to sandwich the two. I mean, it's already on the band, but it's going to cover up that center. It's going to sandwich the two and also it's going to make it more comfortable for her when it lays on her head. So that's what we're going to do. Put this little circle on the back and then we are finished it also covers up your your bow pieces you know when we make the the ears and all that stuff there it is cute oh my goodness this is gonna be so cute but anyway there's our little bunny on a headband I can't wait for her to wear this. Cute, cute, cute. Alright, on to the next 
bow. All right, I had to get dressed um, because I had to go to Walmart and pick up some upholstery thread. And I also picked up some more Stiff and Quick because I was almost out and they've changed the packaging. It's blue. Um, I'm waiting on my bow parts to dry for the watermelon bow. And um, my husband called and asked me if I wanted to go get Chinese food. And I'm like, yeah. So um, I'll probably put that together when I get back. But I got to go in here and do something with my hair. Because um, I just let it dry naturally. And it's all frizzy. So I got to go in there and fix that. Then I'm going to go eat some Chinese food. And then I'll come back and I'll finish. Okay, so I just got back and I'm tired. Kennedy was in there taking a bath and while she took a bath I f tried to finish this watermelon bow and I did not film it. Apologies. Um, but I did get it assembled. The only thing I have to do now is put the marabou and ostrich puffs in the bow and add the felty. So here's what it looks like. Oops. Ah, feathers everywhere. Here it is. I got the funky loop in the middle and twisted boutique. I've got the seed print on this side and then the rind print on this side. Green, red. It's on the clip. Um, like I said, I am now going to add the ostrich puff. I've got a red one and I like to add them up. At the corner there's the red um, I'm looking at the viewfinder I apologize that is so obnoxious and then I had this green it's like a apple green and I thought about putting that in front of the red so there is what it looks like I haven't glued of course any of the ostrich and stuff and then for the felty, I'm thinking about probably putting it on one of the loops down here. Yeah. So, I just have to glue all that together. But um, I think it's cute. Very summery. And it reminds me of, I think, one of my first burst bows was a watermelon one. Correct me if I'm wrong for any of you that have been around long enough. But I think I did a watermelon. Um, so, yeah. That's what it's going to look like. I love it. I love these colors. All right, so I've got four bows completed now. My goal was six. Wasn't it? Was it five or six? 
it was five. No, it was six, because I still have the Always On Point and the peanut butter and jelly. So I think I'm going to go ahead and finish the peanut butter and jelly, and then I'm going to call it a night, because I still have to take a shower and be lazy. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do another burst bow, I think. I just have to find, I've got the pink and this. So, I think I need to find a purple. And I also have the one and a half inch. This right here. So, that is the bow I'm working on. And this will be the cap. So, let me see if I have corkers to match. Because we're going to put corkers in here. And I need a purple. So, my bow parts are drying, and by bow parts, I mean the Twisted Boutique um, bottom and the Funky Loop center. Um, I sprayed them with my Stiff and Quick. Since they are going to take a while to dry, I think I'm going to go ahead and end today's video, um, and I will share the bow in the next video, if that makes sense not really feeling 100%. My throat is hurting, so I hope it's just weather related and we're not getting sick again, but I'm going to go ahead and soak in a nice warm tub in the video, and I'll be back at it tomorrow.